kiss my neck softly, you degenerate beefcakes. It's me, Jim Sterling, back again with some more Outlast for you. Shut up! You shut up! Whining just because you lost some fingers. This guy's just... Uh, uh, he won't shut up. He's been like this for hours. When we last left off, our intrepid protagonist was captured by a nude butt doctor. Was strapped to a wheelchair, had two of his fingers cut off, and then rather than pick up the, uh, you know, potentially life-saving stuff that was around, medical equipment and whatnot, or even just, you know, some broken flint here that could be used as a shank, and uh, rather than, you know, try and use the sinks even, to just um, wash away the disinfect, you know, disinfect his hands and keep them clean in what is clearly an unhygienic environment, our protagonist just picked up his camera again and is now ready to go on his way. So we're going to do that now. He sounds inviting. To me. I know I'm supposed to close doors behind me, but I'm too scared. Close. Oh, this elevator needs a key. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it need a key? Okay, up here, up here. I'll be safe up here. Oh, that was uh, spooky times. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to always be filmed. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Someone said in the comments to always have the camera on, even without the light thing, because it adds to the journal and gives you more notes. Um, something I didn't think to do. Uh, I'm sorry, I know some people are frustrated because I'm uh, not playing with all of the pro skills that they uh, want me to. Um, that is the problem with doing this sort of blind playthrough here, is... Uh, when I generally play games for fun or for a review, I um, am very fastidious, I think I said before. Very e exploring every little nook and cranny. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have to come after me. Okay, we'll close doors behind me and stuff now. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, you know, I um, tend to be very exploring. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, they're just people in bed. Oh, that scared me. <sighs> so as I was, oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm so startled. Oh my god, just open the door! There are a dozen ways this could be going better. Oh, oh god. Oh, he's in here, isn't he? Oh shit. Yeah. 
Is there a button to stand on the toilet so he doesn't see my feet? Is it safe to pick up my coffee cup and have a bit of a drink? Cheeky drink. I can't tell if he's in here or not now. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, maybe he was never in here. Battery! Score! Got to head back out here. So, as I was saying, I am normally very fastidious with these things. I try and be, um, you know, learn everything. But when you play on a let's play kind of thing, you feel a certain amount of pressure to progress quickly and swiftly. Hence why I, you know, and not taking forever to learn all the little ins and outs when I really should. You know. I feel it makes it more entertaining, I could be wrong. But then again, someone said they got killed a fair few times during that chase sequence we had in the last one. And um, was surprised I blazed through it, even not closing doors and stuff, so... Oh god! Oh, this is genuinely quite frightening. Now he's definitely in here. Shut hey, up! Nobody likes a quitter. Why does that protagonist fucking not shut his mouth? He's gonna open it. Should just bolt on that. Uh. Okay. It's another thing I've not been doing is, you know, crouching and playing it stealthy. French. Used to be able to uh, do the old French pretty decently. Not anymore. God, I'm so disoriented from the running and the screaming. Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm going to make an executive decision and go this way. Unless this loops round, in which case I will end up just walking to him. Okay, that's him. Shut up, you dick. Okay, so I need a, what was it, a key for the elevator? Oh, we can hide under these beds. Okay, I, I forgot you could do that. That'll help. It might help. Okay, there are some doors this way. That's good. Okay, another doorway there that I don't know if I've been to. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. There we go. I don't know what happened there. 
What the hell? Open the door, you goddamn fool! Don't slam it! It's your goddamn problem! You fool, you slam the door! I'm gonna blame him entirely for this. It'll be okay. This could take a while. I'm a close. That's who I am. You don't have to look under the beds. Oh, I'm glad they're shading there. Yeah, I should have got his feet first. Amateur move. Okay. I really am quite... Quite lost. Kill me! Go ahead, fucker! You I need you to be working with me here, buddy. Okay, so let's not go near loud patience. Oh god. Can't even get a good look at him. There's gotta be a way I haven't been yet. Maybe that other doorway. Is this just more toilets? Yeah. There's nothing there. Okay. See if I can just listen out, see if I can... Hold on. You! This protagonist needs to shut his mouth. He's just patrolling back and forth. Oh, I really want to go this way. God damn it! I could just try running around screaming rather than all this sneaking about, and then I might bump into the. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where 
God damn it! Okay, next time I'm just gonna run through those doors. Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose here. I don't make the rules. Hey, nobody likes a quitter. He's just fucking marching up and down that corridor. I mean, it's probably the wrong way anyway. I'm probably wasting my time here. Okay, so we know not to use that door now. Bowls. Bowls. Close the door, you damn fool. Why did you do that? Okay, so... Well, we've learned a valuable lesson. What? You've shut me in with you? Oh, Christ! Well... Shit on my bowls and call me Franklin... Okay, let's try and start again and get our bearings this time. Knowing this bloody hero, if you did cut his feet first, the first thing he'd do is grab a pair of shoes. Seems to be his uh, take on priorities. We're pushing this, aren't we? I've been constantly staring at the way out. Let me stop oh, you, you fuck! Right. Lock a lock a lock a lock a lock Okay, we made some progress. I apologize profusely to you all for having just stared at those bloody cupboard things and totally forgot uh, that you could push them. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Still hear him. Okay. Whoa. Buddy! 
fucking hell! Get up here. I wish you wouldn't slam doors like that. Key. Shit. I don't know why I'm fucking that door up. Well, I mean, apart from the fact that I'm an idiot. Sometimes it's easier to just be chased. That's how you get things done. That's all right. I wanted to take... I can take that hit. God, how the hell do we get out of here? Oh, I guess this way. Yeah, that makes sense. What's that? GD elevator. Come this way. Now I have the key. Totally forgot where the elevator is. So that's a new problem for us. I want to push that as well if I can. to give us more options. Let's not stick around. Oh shit, here we go. <sighs> we got out of it. We did it. I'm not giving up on you. Oh shit. Oh. oh, oh. Ah, uh, that's a uh, sucks to be you. Almost a shame. I really liked him as a character, but uh these things happen. <clears throat> At least he won't be a problem. <laughs> oh, but. Here we go. Right, we are back on track. Folks, all is going well in Jonathan Holmes's Hospital of Monsters. Teamwork.
Yeah, I know, I'm probably missing stuff somewhere. So I just I God, don't want to hang around for so long. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. Mm-hmm. And knowing how smart our hero is, he's totally gonna trust the guy that has been essentially rohypnoling him ever since he got here. Yeah, definitely want to burn hands and feet in a sink. Get ourselves some more light so we can look at things. Oops. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we run when things go to shit. Good to know. So, the doctor's dealt with. We still have the big fella and the naked penis brothers unaccounted for. So there's still no shortage of scary fuckers. Is that all there is in here? Yeah. Mm hmm. Down. No. Okay, that looks like a dead end then. That's boarded up. Climby, climby. Because of, of course, this man would send himself into a burning room. Then again, I don't think oxygen being deprived from this guy's brain is going to do much lasting damage. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us, used us, turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. I wonder if you can get out from the kitchen. Ah, so that's what the camera does, you see. Oh no, that's, that's an old thing. Oh well. Get out through the kitchen. Well, that looks fucked that way. Let's pop this off for now. No, that's wrong. Oh shit. Well, fuck. It's just a dead end. Oh no! Ugh, I'm a moron. You duck. So stupid all the time. Anything interesting? Forget when I have the camera up or not. I shouldn't, considering all the overlays. Nice music. Nice and creepy. Very wary of people in chairs now. If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psychopathological proximity stress disorder. Almost said that without tripping over my words. Well, I'm ashamed of myself now. Talk to your supervisor to get help from Murkoff, success counsellor. I keep thinking Murtoff from Lethal Weapon when I see that. Which, uh, obviously isn't what it is. <laughs> Hitting the wrong buddy, Kayla. <laughs> Got 
gone the wrong way. This is where we're going. Probably. No water first on them. Oh, and more valves. I'm sure this will be a laugh. This is a bad idea. But now I'm too scared to do anything else. Maybe it wasn't a bad idea. It sounds like he's turned. Something flashing. Come here. Let's give ourselves a new battery. Oh, fudge, sickle. Well, there's nowhere to go but forward now. Oh, he can run. I'll give him that. Shit. Okay, let's try this again. That's a valve. This whole being chased thing and hoping you go in the right direction is working out quite well for me. Way better than the, the stealthy Heidi approach. Just need to... Make sure he doesn't... Hear me. I can still hear him breathing. He'll probably be alright, actually. Just in case that makes him come. Ba 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 by the way, the old Finnish, or was it Swedish, or are they the same thing? I can't remember anymore. Uh, stories. There's an old European slash Japanese cartoon based on the books and comics by Torve, someone whose name I have forgotten. Which I used to watch on Cartoon Network many years ago. The Moomins. Starring such characters as Moomin Papa, 
Moomin Mama. And Moomin, of course, are you. Fuck house. Oh, I tried to close the door, that didn't work out too well for me. That's the end of me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that fuck. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that again. And this time, yeah, bring it full. Get through, shut the door. Okay, we'll do it much quicker this time. There. Yeah, come on. Bring it. I don't care. Oh, what? What did we learn, son? And now we're at the baths. Did you bring your ducky? <laughs> yeah. Go in your belly. Perfect. Yeah, definitely a fan of this whole run and panic tactic, which is a valid tactic. Wow. Delightful. And they were, of course, the Moomins. I do actually want to be a bit more careful here. Actually, no, I don't. Change my mind on the whole careful thing. Shitting shit! No, no, you don't. You poo, you poo brain. Okay, that's good news. Ha ha! Oh, whoa! -ho! Yeah, you better run. <laughs> oh. Terror can make me laugh sometimes. That that's why I'm doing the whole laughing thing. a potential hidey hole I guess. Anything to hide in here? No. Okay. Calm down now. And have a little calm down. Hmm. Ah, here we go. No? Okay. So maybe I missed something here. Again, I apologise when I mess up. I'm 
It's not the most entertaining of things. Well, shit. The worst part is when I know it's something obvious that you've all spotted a mile away and you're screaming at me right now. It's a good thing I don't live stream. Down here, maybe. Oh, it's the only way to tell. Oh, batteries. I guess that's all that was. And that brings us right by the exit. So I just have a bit of a double check in here. That's what we want. Okay. Special Research Bluebird. Uh, for the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavouring to ascertain by research, study, instruction, and some practice that value, if any, can be derived from sleep induction and hypnotic techniques when applied to war and specific agency problems. Can we create, by post-age control, an action contrary to an individual's basic moral principles? Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? What are full details on a sleep-inducing machine? Hello. Be able to see what's going on out here. God, it's dark. I don't even know your name, but I've come to think of you as one of my blood, my Paul. I hope you don't mind, and I hope you don't indulge the vanity of self-pity, the fear that your suffering is more than others. Well, you're wrong. We all must endure this, and you are nearly done. There's no way to heaven but by the cross, and every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I am here for you. I am waiting ahead. That looks like we might be nearing the conclusion of our little fuckfest. Uh, I will get to a nice stopping point, because I think we've gone on long enough. Is this the right way? <clears throat> okay, you know what, actually? This, this, this is a good place to stop. Yeah, we will save here. And next time, we will hopefully conclude our thrilling adventure. <laughs> I'll see you next time, kids.